welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you're all okay. Today's video is all about, uh, don't want to classify it specifically to evening, but more going out looks. If you're going to a restaurant, you might be going out for a nice lunch, a, ma a nice evening meal. If you're going out to a bar, I just kind of like wanted a general, if you're going out, outfit inspiration. So there'll be a kind of like mixture of looks in there. I did like a date nights look one a few weeks ago. But I've recently had a lot of requests for some more just evening out, going out for a nice meal kind of general looks. So that's what today's video is going to be. Let us begin with this one. This is quite a summery evening look. I guess actually you could probably work this really nicely for the daytime or if you wanted to swap it for flats you could definitely do that. So I've got on this lovely me and M shirt which is like a very kind of powdery gorgeous blue. I absolutely love this shade. I feel like this is a colour that really suits a lot of different skin tones as well. I think it definitely makes um, people's features pop a little bit more and suits a wide variety of people. So love this colour. And then this old satin Zara skirt which I think is so cute. Layered gold jewellery. I've got this gorgeous necklace on from Mango. Like this big chunky chain thing closer so you can see it so this big kind of gong necklace and then some other pieces from pd paula and that's where my rings are from as well and then this cute pixie market beaded bag to go with it and then some white strappy sandals to finish off the look i like this look because it feels quite easy it doesn't feel too try hard nice easy light colors for summer i've kind of wrapped the shirt a little bit and then done one button. I think I would just maybe get a belt for it to just secure it all together, but I didn't have one that quite went. I'm kind of looking for a summery tan wrap style belt that will go with a lot. A bit like the Isabel Morant ones, I might have a look at that one, but that kind of very easy breezy, goes with everything tan belt that I think would go really well with this. I think this definitely could be altered as well. So you could pop a blazer on over for nighttime. You could swap this bag out for a basket bag for daytime. In fact, let me do that. And so we can see how this could transition from more of an evening going out to more of a day going out. So this is how I would transition this. I decided to go for this bag. Oh, somebody's told me how to pronounce it and I can't. Kurilu? Kurilu? Um, I'll link it. But it goes so nicely with the blues and the whites from skirt and then I popped some tan sandals from Mango with it. So this is a really cute like daytime lunch out kind of vibe um, which is really easy. Again, like I said, to transition from day to evening. Next is this little zebra number, which you might have seen in some of my videos before. It's just a really cute little zebra dress um, in like a tears. It's from Lovies. Looks cute without the jacket as well. Just got kind of medium sleeves. But then I thought pop the blazer on with it just to give a bit of layering, a bit of interest. It's also nice to have that extra layer if you are going out and you don't know what the temperature is going to be often goes a bit cooler in the evening and summer and then it got some strappy heel sandals which are old Zara and then the mango necklace I think I mean I could go for a pearl bag again like that or I could go for something black like this little Arquette one which I think is so so cute and yeah it's just a really easy look and I could also if I wanted to kind of change it up a little bit swap the cream jacket for this woo, for this black and other stories one so you've got a different vibe there slightly different look and then I could put the black bag on with that so that's kind of two different looks out of one dress so I was wanted to demonstrate with this look that silk isn't always a preferable fabric for evening and that sometimes you can go for more of a daytime fabric and that is actually nicer than kind of evening, traditional evening fabric. So this is a linen suit. I got this in Mango a couple of years ago now and I think this just works really well for evening because it's a matching suit instantly looks a little bit more dressed up than if it was just like a different you know like linen joggers in a beige and then a black linen top definitely looks more dressy than that because it's head to toe same color and then because of the yellow i think it just is a nice vibrant evening outfit but because it's linen it's so casual and relaxed and just 
just doesn't look like you've kind of made too much of an effort or look too done. So I've just got it on with some mules from New Look. And then my Zach Posen bag, which I got a while ago now actually. Some big kind of battered gold earrings from Zara also a while ago. I think this is a really nice one if you're not particularly girly or into getting really dressed up. It's just like really relaxed with it being linen and just a nice one to throw on and you've got yourself a complete look. So another really simple way to dress up an outfit or a look is a one shoulder top. This one is just from weekday, really easy to throw on with everything, a nice holiday top as well if you are going away anywhere. It's nice to put on it in the evening, you can wear it with a skirt, you can wear it with trousers. These trousers are from Massimo Dutti that I got last year. They came with a different belt. I've put this belt on, it's an ASOS one. My Arquette bag and then old mango sandals that I got last year and then the same Zara earrings that I just had on. But I like, again, this is more um, of a way to dress down a look, more like natural colours and styles. And I much prefer this to going all out kind of bling short tight dresses as I mentioned before I'd prefer to wear something a little bit more relaxed a little bit more natural looking and I definitely think this fits the bill. So same top different trousers but this is kind of if you're going a bit all out for a more a dressy meal a nice bar or something I've got these straight black Topshop trousers on which I think are sold out now um, but I talked about them as soon as I got them and they're, I think they're obviously popular ones on Topshop because they have sold out and they were in the sale as well. So I'll try and find some similar. I've got these strappy mango ones that I got ages ago, strappy mango heels with diamantes on. And then diamante hoop earrings which I got from H&M in the winter, strappy top and I think I would go for my Saint Laurent bag with it. I'd either probably wear this over the shoulder or maybe you put it as a short strap like that and wear it over the shoulder like that. This is just such an easy look. I love all black for the evening, so chic. But I definitely think if you are going for more of a casual occasion, you could wear the top and the trousers and then with some flat sandals and more casual earrings and it would look really nice. And I would perhaps pop a blazer over the top of this as well just to give it a bit of warmth a bit of extra layering this isn't a suit by the way this jacket is from and other stories but just gives it a little extra layer of warmth and a bit more formality too so you could go a little bit more low-key and go for jeans heels and a simple oversized white t-shirt i sometimes think the basics never fail and something really simple can actually be really effective. So I've got these little red Topshop heels on and then I thought I'd put a bit more of a red lip with it. And then I've got this white t-shirt on. This is from Lovies, I think, an oversized one. I'll get back under the story sunglasses. These unfortunately are some old Zara jeans, but I'll see if I can find some similar. But I think if you're going for like a really casual meal but you just want like a little bit of a heel to elevate the outfit a bit, then this is a great one to go for. And like I say, I think sometimes basics and the most simple pieces work the best. Kind of from one extreme to the other, I've gone for this cute little puff sleeve dress. You can't go wrong with a puff sleeve, especially in summer and the evening. Um, it's just a really nice one to throw on because it gives such a pop of colour. It's a really fun, uplifting dress if you're feeling a little bit drab and not really in the mood to go out. Pop this dress on and it instantly kind of gives you a lift and a mood boost. I've got my just strappy heels from Zara on. I've just realised I've not got one of the straps in the shoes. Um, and then my Pixie Market bag, but any kind of light shoes. I actually think dark bag and dark shoes works well with this but um, the light shoes, light bag, and then you could even put a blazer over your shoulders in like a light color if you just wanted a little extra layer of something. So if you are like me and have invested over the winters in kind of evening blazers, I know I've got velvet one, I've got a couple of black ones, and then I've got this sparkly one, um, don't be afraid of wearing it in the summer. It's so easy to make it a little bit more summery. All you need to do is pop on something a little bit lighter and a little bit more relaxed. Um, so I've got this white t-shirt on again, the Lovies one, some old Zara jeans, and then the heels I had on before, my old mango ones. And it's just a really easy way 
to get your wear out of your wintry pieces. I think a velvet blazer would look really nice with this as well. Don't be shy of kind of mixing up your pieces and bringing them into the summer season. It works well with the light wash jeans, I think, and then the white t-shirt makes it a little bit more casual because this could be quite a really dressy um, blazer, very evening, very nighttime, a bit Christmassy even. So definitely with the white t-shirt, that just brings it right down. This blazer, by the way, is an old Zara one. I have the matching trousers, it's like a suit. But again, I think the trousers are a little bit wintry. But I love this blazer so much. I'll try and find something a little bit similar. But this is my final outfit. I hope you've enjoyed the roundup of evening looks. Let me know if you're going out anywhere. And if you are recreating any of these, don't forget to hit that subscribe button button it would really mean so much because we are so close to 100k now i can't believe it just thank you so much for that as well if you have subscribed to me already i can't believe how quickly we have come to 100k already it's just mind-blowing well we're not there yet but hopefully soon uh, so don't forget to hit the subscribe give it a thumbs up if you like it let me know any ideas what you'd like to see from me in the future and yeah follow me on instagram too at lydia jane tomlinson and i'll see you in my next video